Today on Florida Sportsman Best Boat. If you desire a thoughtfully laid out custom fishing boat, we'll be taking a look at the Schaefer S280. A center console boat with an overall length of 28 feet 2 inches, a beam of 9 feet 6 inches, and max horsepower rating of 600. Standout features on the Schaefer S280. Increased bow storage ensures boaters have all the room necessary for gear, especially when making long runs offshore. A hybrid deck layout gives anglers better visibility above the water while not compromising storage space and freeboard. Easy systems access makes it quick and simple to reach essential system components whenever necessary. For those who can't decide between going offshore or hitting the backcountry, we'll be looking at the Dusky 242 Bay, a bay boat with an overall length of 24 feet 2 inches, a beam of 7 feet 8 inches, and max horsepower rating of 350. Standout features on the Dusky 242 Bay. A versatile hull design allows you to access shallower inshore waters while easily handling the demands of offshore waters. An elevated casting platform provides fishermen with a stable sight fishing platform when patrolling shallow inshore waters. An ergonomic console design gives you the real estate of a large console without taking up valuable deck space. If you're looking for the ultimate blend of comfort and fishability, we'll be taking a look at the Blackfin 272cc. A center console with an overall length of 27 feet 2 inches, a beam of 9 feet 4 inches, and max horsepower rating of 600. Standout features on the Blackfin 272cc. Bow seating provides a comfortable place to relax and kick back when bringing the family along for a day on the water. A large live well provides fishermen with an adequate amount of live bait capacity for a day's worth of fishing. A comfortable helm layout consisting of plush seating, a wraparound windshield, and an oversized top make for a more enjoyable day on the water. Join our hosts George Labonte and Rick Riles as they conduct walkthroughs and review key features, all to help you decide if this is the best boat for you. Cap, we got three hard working boats for you this week. The Schaefer S280, the Dusky 24 Bay, and the Blackfin 272 Center Console. Three great boats, you're right, Rick. Let's start with the Schaefer, okay? Schaefer's been built in the 24-foot model of this boat. For a long time, this has become the staple of the past fishing industry over on the west coast of Florida. Well, Schaefer customers demanded a boat that would get them further offshore. Ben Schaefer answered with this S280. It's one of a kind, it's a great boat. And the good news for Ben is, those people didn't want to change brands. They wanted a Schaefer. They wanted a bigger offshore Schaefer. They got it. George, that Dusky 24 Bay is not just another 24 Bay boat. They took the hull of their very, very popular 25 offshore and put it on a Bay boat. You're right. This is a boat that's got a hull that is an offshore capable, really tough, durable boat with a Bay boat topside. What a combination. But how about Blackfin coming back into the story in 2018? They've been completely reinvented with the 272 center console. Now this 27 from Blackfin, this is a whole new look for this company, all right? This is a 27 foot center console, outboard powered, built for fishing, but they managed to put a lot of creature comforts into this boat. It's really exciting. I tell you what, all three boats we've got this week look like they're ready to go to work for me. If you are looking for a rough, tough, ready to head into open water boat, you need to stay tuned. We got three great ones for you. When we come back, host George Labonte and Rick Riles take a closer look at a boat where nothing is an afterthought, the Schaefer S280. This segment brought to you by Engel, the best performance coolers on the market. Wake up early on your days off. Go on an adventure. Get out on the water. Here at Engel, we live for these days. We think you should spend more time in nature. Let us help you enjoy it. For those that care about quality, who want to get out into the world with a confidence that their gear is going to stand up to the day's challenges, Engel Coolers are built for you. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles, as they take a closer look at the Schaefer S280. Representing the 27 to 30 foot class in the center console category, the Schaefer S280 has an overall length of 28 feet 2 inches, a beam of 9 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 600. 
Designed for versatility and blue water ready, she has a draft of 17 inches, a dead rise of 16 degrees, a dry weight of 5,900 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 170 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. We're standing here today on a boat, Rick, that I've been waiting to see for a very long time. There's been a lot of buzz about it in certain circles. Meet the new Schaefer S280. It's the brainchild of Ben Schaefer, who has built boats. Now, gosh, his dad was a shipbuilder. His sister designed nuclear submarines. Ben builds fishing boats, and he's been building a long time. You talk about a loyal following, Ben Schaefer has a loyal following. I'd almost go as far to say a cult following. All right, we can't talk about her anymore without drilling into the nuts and bolts. There's a lot of stuff to look at on this one. Let's start right here. If we're calling it a hybrid, there's no point in having all the attributes of a big water boat, but none of the attributes, as far as the deck layout is concerned, of an inshore boat, okay? This is a boat that you can fish inside with. You've got this elevated deck in the front, okay? That's gonna get you up. You're able to see you can fight fish, walk around here. It's obviously very roomy, okay? Now, if you've got an offshore boat, you're gonna to need to use that space for other things that are gonna be more important to you offshore. Storage, gigantic fish box right here, insulated, four inches of foam, I mean, keep size for days. Storage to put gear in. You've got two boxes underneath you there in the front. You've also got two other boxes here, all dry boxes. These two boxes also feature rod lockers. You can put rods, full length offshore rods, up inside there and lock them away, get them out of the way. So you're really doing two things with the same real estate. This is a perfect description of this platform. It's a hybrid platform. Ideal you're height. Right, you're still plenty in the boat and, and in big water, I wouldn't be nervous about being here, but it gives me up high enough to gaff, fight, or cast net from. Let me tell you about that drink box. It's not just insulated. The walls are extra thick. The lid, you ought to see the lid on that thing. The gasket is monstrous. That will hold some drinks for a long time. All right, we've established he knows how to build insulated boxes, Rick. And there's an, incidentally another dry storage box right in the center deck here too. But there's a lot more to look at. Why don't we move to the center of the boat? Hold on a second, buddy, before you go too far. I got to spend some time with two of Ben's employees this morning. They were prouder of this console door and the design of it than a lot of people are their first child. It looks like it came off of one of the ships that his dad ran. I mean, exactly. it, it's that kind of quality to it. But the console itself is a solidly built work of art. With Ben, it's details are everything. Inside the console, you know, it's a large console, big enough to store a bunch of stuff. There's actually an eight-man raft in there right now. You could put a head in it. But more importantly, Ben thinks about the guy that has to work on the boat. And he said to me, you're either going to be paying somebody hourly to work on the boat or you're going to be doing it. So everything that's behind here is so easily accessible on the inside. It's really well thought out, of course, meticulously wired. You know, and there's just little touches that you see when you start going through the boat. I'm going to give you an example. Inside this little hatch right here, how about push button batteries? You've got the regular battery selector switches in the console with all your fuses, a voltmeter, so you can monitor the battery uh, condition. But in here, we've got Bocatec switches. You can just power up the batteries through a switch down inside. Yeah, but you knew what you had to unscrew to get to all of that? Nothing. Exactly. Everything's on, everything's got its own hatch, everything just lifts out. Perfect. George, I don't even know why I like it so much back here. Tell me this isn't classic sport fish boat. You know what? I'll tell you what it is. It's the look of a custom boat here. You don't see a hard right angle anywhere. Everything is radius. You know, we we're talking just a minute ago about, look at the swell here, this little curve to the transom. I mean, the whole, the lines of the boat are pretty. I mean, it's, it goes beyond being functional. It's pretty too. You know, I used to think the bigger the fish box, the better, but let's be realistic either by choice or necessity. We don't kill as many fish as we used to. Now I love these long in-deck boxes that you can throw 20, 30 pounds of ice in there and keep your catch cold all day long. One of those is big enough for most people's offshore day. Okay, but you've got two of them, again, with the insulation that you love. Um, you've got another wet storage area here, access to the pump room right there. I mean, all your pumps and systems. This boat has a porter bracket, the scissor jack on the back of the boat. You've got your hydraulic pumps and stuff right there. Very easy to get to, easy to service right through here. So if you are at a point in your boat owning career where you know exactly how you want it and you want to find the guy that can do it for you and can steer you in the right directions because he's already told us there's some things that people bring in that he won't do because he knows better. But let me tell you what, if you're on a level of Ben Schaefer and you think about every detail of everything in your life, you need to see the Schaefer S280.
When we return, host George Labonte and Rick Riles examine a boat built to navigate the flats or cross open water, the Dusky 242 Bay. This segment brought to you by Suzuki Marine, the ultimate four stroke outboard. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles, as they take a closer look at the Dusky 242 Bay. Representing the 17 to 24 foot class in the Bay Boat category, the Dusky 242 Bay has an overall length of 24 feet 2 inches, a beam of 7 feet 8 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 350. Built to cruise the flats and handle choppy conditions, she has a draft of 12 inches, a dead rise of 20 degrees, a dry weight of 3,500 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 100 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. We're standing on the new Dusky 242 Bay, and this is a bay boat, but this has got a lot more going on than just a bay boat. Let's talk about that for a second. Well, you're right, George, and to me, when I think of a bay boat, is a boat that can get shallow enough to flats fish with, but can go through the choppy water to get there. Exactly right. Well, the Brown family took this thing into the next level. What we're standing on is actually the identical hull as the Dusky 25, which we all know and love. It impresses the heck out of me that they didn't change a thing about the bottom, they just took some, some height off of it, if you will. Exactly, you've cut the freeboard down. We've got a casting platform up here, this casting deck, a place to stand up here and fish, a place to throw a cast net from, a very nice open deck in the rest of the boat, the dusky drive on the back to get out on and so you can fish off of there or fish in the back. I mean, this boat will do the job that offshore boat's gonna do and still get you back into the back country. Let's talk a little bit about what makes this a bay boat configuration. Let me tell you, the platform is really the heart of most bay boats. I mean, that's what bay boats are all about, is being able to stand up here and cast. One thing we always want to see you on a bay boat is a forward casting deck. It's standard equipment on a bay boat, and this one's got a really nice deck. Now, the owner of this boat loves to throw a cast net. They do a lot of bait fishing, they throw a bunch of nets. When you're standing up here, they've got the marine mat, which is great drippy surface for if you're fishing up here or if you're throwing a net. And there's just a slight elevation there, that little forward piece there, and that's here to remind you where the edge of the boat is. You can stand with one foot up there, brace when you're throwing a net, but if you're fishing up here, when you hit that little toe edge, it's gonna keep you from going in the water. There is a massive storage area up front, and then there's great fish boxes that are just the right size from here up to the bulkhead on each side. Behind you, there's a 40 gallon live well, and I like the live well location right there for this reason. If you're that guy who throws the net, it's very easy to take your net from here to the well. You can actually dump the net while you're standing up here. You can flip that lid up and just turn and shake the net right into the live well from here. And it's a 40 gallon tank, plenty big enough for bay boat fishing or offshore fishing. You're right, stand up here high, shake them in there. Perfect setup for an offshore live well. You know, as we get further into the summer, this gets hotter and hotter out here. Move to the center of the boat with me, Rick. I wanna show you something that I really enjoy on this boat. Ah, sweet. I tell you what, it's cooler back here. Yes. I like a big T top. You know what? It's hard to remember that you're on a bay boat when we come back here. There's so much shade underneath this top, yet it doesn't interfere with your fishing space, either in the back of the boat or the front of the boat. This is a lot of real estate to cover right here, and you're comfortable here. And a hot summer day like this comes in really handy. Not just that, Rick, this console is really big. There's so much room to walk around the outside of the console, it's hard to imagine when you open the door and look inside there, you're not even gonna believe the amount of storage space inside this console. Oh, you can store everything you want, put a head down there. I mean, there's yeah. plenty of room for it, but you're right. The key to it to me is, is the console too wide and can you walk past it easily? And in this boat, you certainly can. Let me show you how much room there is in the cockpit on this boat to fish despite this oversized top. Move back here with me. All right, take a look here. Spread your arms out. Plenty of room. Yeah, plenty of room to fish. You know, I feel like I'm in, again, I feel like I'm in an offshore center console only with this low freeboard. This is set up to me like an offshore center console, but this is a place where you can fish around. I mean, I could easily be fishing here and reach down and pick a snook up out of the water. I mean, it's 
bay boat meets offshore right in this space and there's a lot more room here than it looks like add to that the fact you've got the dusky drive right here you can walk out and stand on it back there as well now this backrest comes out we've got a seat you know when we fish together if we get to that point in the day where you need to take a nap and get off your feet <laughs> we put this seat up right here and you got a nice bench to get comfortable on but put it down and you can lift these rods out of here take the backrest out of here and move it and you've got even that much more room to work one more thing we can't overlook it's the bay boat still this boat's equipped with a power pole which comes in really handy when you're doing the backwater type of fishing you know if you want to stop fishing area stick the pole down pull it up drift a little bit stick it again you can effectively cover an area with this and this one's got it and the jack plate which is probably not going to be at play when you're 20 miles offshore but can be very much in play when you're back here on the flats because you can raise the motor up and run in skinnier water you know, for a bay boat that goes offshore in rough water and will do the job back here, I can't imagine anything I'd change about this Dusky 242. When we come back, hosts George Labonte and Rick Riles take you through a boat where fishability and comfort are perfectly blended. The Blackfin 272cc. This segment brought to you by Manta Racks. Take your boards. Sometimes the best fishing lies in places that are difficult to access. Shallow water, no motor zones, motor restrictions, and rough water may stand between you and the best fishing. Manorak securely transports your paddle boards to these locations without damaging the boat or the SUP. Now, there's no place for fish to hide. Mantarax, go further. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts, Rick Riles and George Labonte, as they check out the Blackfin 272cc. Representing the 27 to 30 foot class in the center console category, the Blackfin 272cc has an overall length of 27 feet 2 inches, a beam of 9 feet 4 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 600. Engineered for offshore fishing in comfort, she has a draft of 24 inches, a dead rise of 22 degrees, a weight of 6,500 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 180 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. George, I tell you what, if you look back through the history of sport fishing and sport fishing boats, you see the name Blackfin all over it, don't you? Absolutely, you know what? We're standing on the next generation Blackfin. The new Blackfin company, this is a company reborn for the 21st century. George, we see plenty of center consoles, big ones that are dedicated fishing boats that are really kind of Spartan. You know, they're laid out for one thing, you know, you're out there to fish, you're not out there to relax. Well, the consumer's not gonna have that anymore. We want to be comfortable. And Blackfin blended that need for comfort with a boat that's a very fishable boat. We need to get started on this boat. There's a lot for us to look at. Rick, we say comfort features are all over this boat. You know, it all starts right up here. If you look at the bow seating configuration, you know, a lot of boats have this forward seating, but this is a very comfortable setup. You've got this wraparound seating right here, which really thick padding on there. Also a very comfortable, really double wide seat there with pull down armrest. You know, this is really, really comfortable seating, but it's still an open fishing boat up here. I don't know who, I don't know the design team for Blackfin. I've never had the pleasure of meeting the guys, but I can tell you that there's a big sport fish guy there somewhere. There's so many of these things, these seat backs, the way they go together. Even these cushions and all, it just screams big boat to you, doesn't it? It does. And also, you know, you talk about the design team. I know they've got a team of engineers working on these boats because there's a lot of engineering in this boat. There's things all about the boat that you look at and go, man, that's a really clever idea. A lot of really thoughtful design. George, it's very comfortable up here. It's very fishable up here. Let's go back here and let me show you how we know it's a black fin. George, I tell you, you step back here, the first word that comes to mind to me is beefy. I can't be fishing without having a rigging station. This one's got a dandy. You can cut there, you can rig ballyhoo there. I've got to have that if I'm going to be blue water fishing. You know how I like to do it. But just this freeboard, look at all the freeboard you have back here. I mean, this three, four foot wave isn't going to make you nervous back here like it will on a lot of 27 foot boats, let's be honest. Absolutely. This is a blue water fishing boat. Now, much like we said about the bow, how everything you needed for relaxing is within arm's reach, everything you need for fishing is within arm's reach back here, Rick. And for example, the 30 gallon live well you're leaning up against here, a vertical live well fitting in the corner like that doesn't take up a ton of space. It's got the clear panel, which we're big fans of in the front of it. You've got a slide out cooler for drinks back here. 
two really big 54 gallon fish boxes in the deck insulated and right here a giant access point to get into your systems in the bilge. Everything's within easy reach and you can stand in there and work on it. You don't have to go digging for anything. It's all right there. All that and you can still move around freely because every use, every inch is used well, which leaves you open deck space to move around. Right on. Hey, let's grab some shade and take a look at this helm, man. George, I tell you what, when I step into this helm area, the term industrial strength comes to me. Does that make sense? It does. It's bomb proof, Rick. It really is. I mean, this is a very sturdily built top and really well thought out design. There's a lot going on in here, but you know, I got to run this boat a bunch this morning and the first thing that jumped out at me is this helm is really comfortable to run the boat from. I don't know what it is, but just the way it fits you, the space back here, the layout, the heads up, I mean, all this electronics is right there in front of your face. And I'm a real big fan of this wraparound windshield, as you know. I mean, it's the boat, this boat's built to go out in big weather and there's a lot of real estate to get behind that weather right here. There sure is, and you know what? One of the things that you and I fight because we spend so much time on the ocean is eye fatigue. You don't have that bright sun bouncing off a console and showing through a clear windshield. I'll bet you you're a lot less tired at the end of the day behind a tinted windshield. You better believe it. You know, something else we've never seen, Rick, or I've never seen, Blackfin is incorporating this patented pantographic design for the door to enter the console. I've never seen anything like it, and it's very unique. The door opens forward, but it doesn't block the route going past the console walking forward and aft. Not only that, but this is a really unique piece of hardware. The way it fits over the console makes this a really bulletproof, absolutely waterproof design. I think Blackfin hit it out of the park with this model, Rick. You know, they've taken all this new technology, but they haven't forgotten about their roots. I mean, they really combined the best of both worlds into this Blackfin 272 center console. Cap, you want to talk about a trifecta of strong boats, buddy? We had them today, didn't we? We sure did. You have to consider that Schaefer 28. You're right, Rick. And how about that Dusky? You can take the best of both worlds they've done it with that 24. Yeah, and how about that Blackfin 27? They knocked it out of the park with that one. They're definitely back in the mix. Hey, if you'd like any more information about the boats you've seen this week or any of the boats you see on Best Boat, go to floridasportsman.com. Or we'll see you next week on another episode of Florida Sportsman Best Boat. When filming for Florida Sportsman Best Boat, the cast and crew docked and dined at Pirate's Cove Marina in Stewart, Florida. Family owned and operated, featuring 50 renovated rooms with an outstanding restaurant and a full service 50 slip marina.